Good morning, brothers and sisters. Matthew 26, verse 2 says, After two days the Passover is coming, and the Son of Man is to be delivered up for crucifixion. Jesus adhered perfectly to God's timetable for his death, which was part of the Father's larger plan of redemption. The history of redemption most definitely centers on the cross of Jesus Christ. Hymn writer John Barring expressed this fact well, quote, In the cross of Christ I glory, towering over the wrecks of time, all the light of sacred story gathers round its head sublime. The Apostle Paul was so convinced of the central importance of Christ's death on the cross that he told the Corinthians, I determined to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified, 1 Corinthians 2.2. Paul knew that without the cross of Christ, there is no salvation and no true Christianity. Jesus himself knew the length of his earthly life was determined by God's sovereign timetable and that the time of his death could not be altered or thwarted. Concerning control over his life, he declared, I have authority to lay it down and I have authority to take it up again, John 10:18. As the Son of God, Jesus was able to look forward to his death and even predict that it would be in Jerusalem and that he would rise on the third day. During Jesus' ministry, people such as the Jewish leaders unknowingly threatened God's timetable when they sought to kill him. But all the premature attempts to murder Christ failed because they did not fit into God's sovereign plan for how, when, and why Jesus should die on the cross. But Jesus' reference to the Passover in Matthew 26, verse 2, did fit into God's plan. Our Lord's suffering and death was perfectly timed to coincide with that celebration. Passover was known by the Jews as the festival in which sacrificial lambs were slain. But now the death of the Lamb of God would forever replace Passover's importance. We can take great comfort in all this, knowing Christ our Passover also has been sacrificed, 1 Corinthians 5, 7, and that Jesus was the Lamb that was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but has appeared in these last times for the sake of us, 1 Peter 1, 19-20. Maranatha.